Uh, hello, fans of Ricardola. This is um, a little bit of a talk about Rick's papers and where they're at. I'm happy to say that all of Rick Hodla's, uh literary papers, at least the ones that uh, I have, I know there's a whole bunch out there floating around, we'll talk about that later, they're all processed. Uh, finding aid uh, is done, as is the index. All I have to do now is just go to uh, the finding aid document and add some um, intro notes, so uh, biographical notes, scope and content notes, how I organized the collection and why, uh, condition notes, uh, a brief abstract, and also um, I add um, kind of like metadata to this, um, key names and um, topical um, subjects that may be of interest to researchers. So they're kind of like, um, like subject headings. Um, we know we're in COVID-19, so this collection can't just be delivered to the main state library. Um, I'm going to be calling the uh, state librarian to um, let him know that the collection is ready for transferring. I'm going to contact Maddie, uh, Rick's son, uh, and connect with him and... Um, talk about the deed of gift, uh, show him the original deed of gift that uh, Rick and I put together back uh, uh, back in the, the early 2000s, and then uh, sort of set up um, a meeting a time between uh, the director of the Maine State Library, Maddie and myself, and uh, make arrangements to um, deliver the collection. So one of the things I want to point out is um, there there is a lot of materials that are not there. And I know that Rick was uh, very generous. And I believe that when he asked people to read, say, read his manuscript or whatnot, he'd say, yeah, go ahead and keep it. Or he may have had a final draft, go ahead and keep it. Because he kept everything. I think he had um, most of his stuff were digitized. Not his early stuff, but his later stuff was. So it's the later stuff and a few early manuscripts that I don't have. So I know they're out there. I want to put a a request out in Ricardola fan land that in the future, like down the road, way down the road, if you have something that you think may be good for the collection and you want to donate that, let me know, contact me, and um, arrangements can be made to um, uh, mail me the item, and then I can uh, place that into the collection and then update the finding aid. Uh, I do believe that this finding aid is open and it will change through time. Because all donors will be receiving a copy of the finding aids bound in a book, any time a finding aid is changed or altered, you will receive uh, information on that and an insert sheet. So I think your uh, bounded book will have a pocket in the back for any changes in the finding aid. I think that's important. People um, who have helped me in completing this task, and of course the Maine State Library and their generosity in uh, providing the materials to house it, uh, made this all very doable and very possible for me. Um, I'm going to send the preliminary draft of the finding aid to um, Holly and Nustin Hadala to just take a quick look to review it, uh, see if there's anything that I might be wrong on, or maybe 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 a um, a small manuscript of a short story that I thought hasn't been published but somehow was published. I need to know that. Um, because I think Rick, Rick was such a prolific writer. I can't believe how much he, he wrote. And I pretty much can tell which has been published, but there might be something in there that I thought wasn't published and may have been published in a small a magazine or newsletter. I don't know, but I, but I certainly know that, that Hollywood. So Holly, I'll be contacting you and emailing you the draft finding aid. Um... I have all your emails, that uh, all the donors, so I'll be emailing everybody asking for your mailing addresses because I want to be able to mail the funding aid to you. Um, if an email gets bumped back, <laughs> that means that your email has changed and you haven't notified me. Uh, so hopefully if you know your email's changed since uh, 
uh, your GoFundMe a donation, you may want to email me or uh, instant message me and let me know. Um, I think that's all for now. It won't be the last video because I'm going to uh, video the process of moving the collection to. I think it'd be really exciting to, to see um, how that is done. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll talk again. Take care.